Hi, I'm General Jim McConville, the Army Chief of Staff, and I thank you for tuning in to the United States Army Twilight Tattoo. The tattoo celebrates America's Army, the strength of our nation. For 245 years, soldiers of our Army, from the regular Army, National Guard, and Army Reserve, have remained committed to protecting our hard-earned rights and liberties at home and abroad. Over the next several weeks, we will share our Army story virtually in weekly chapters that will show how America's Army and the nation it serves have grown since our founding in 1775. The soldiers you will see are from the 3rd United States Infantry Regiment and the United States Army Band. They represent all soldiers who have served from the Revolutionary War to the present day. Our nation's greatest generations are built on the strength of America's strongest citizens, our servicemen and women in uniform. Thanks again for joining us. Enjoy this unique season of Twilight Tattoo. The American Revolution was our eight-year-long struggle for independence. The conflict witnessed the birth of America's army on 14 June 1775. The raw militia units that comprised that force were severely tested in the early years of the revolution. Under the leadership of General George Washington, a professional American army emerged from the trials and tribulations of Valley Forge as a trained, battle-tested, and highly organized fighting force comprised of Continental Infantry mounted dragoons, and artillery. Sound assembly! <laughs> to the front and down. march! of American military music can be traced to the fifers and drummers of the Revolutionary War. This musical heritage is represented today by the soldiers of the United States Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps. These active duty musicians honor the soldiers of the past while displaying the discipline, professionalism, and precision of today's Army to audiences around the globe.
America's army persevered in our fight for independence. Victory finally came at Yorktown in 1781 as General Cornwallis surrendered to General Washington. The new nation began to rapidly expand westward into the vast territories that lay beyond the mighty Mississippi River. Tune in next time as America's army takes the lead in opening the western frontier, enabling the United States to realize its manifest destiny. Thanks for joining us.